What's up, guys? I'm back. Today we are doing a video talking about the best acne products for the summertime. I usually break out a little bit more in the summertime just because it's really hot and you just get sweaty and goopy and I'm just like... <coughs> but these are some products that have helped me. I hope it'll help you, honestly, because I do take care of my skin really diligently or try to. I've been breaking out a little bit here and there and it's fine. It's normal. I have this beautiful makeup on today. It's a very peachy look, but wait, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm here to talk about skincare. You might see some familiar products. I use the same thing. You know, I try new things and I go back to old things oftentimes. So let's just get started. The first thing I want to say is that acne is totally normal. You don't have to be embarrassed or feel bad about your acne because I grew up with acne and I felt so shamed for it. But these days, I feel like I'm so happy to see less brands like retouching and just showing off your skin even with foundation on and I think that's really normal we need to normalize acne because everybody gets acne it hurts sometimes it's embarrassing I know like I used to not want to go out because I thought that acne was the only thing that people would see me when I like broke out but it's not true what matters is on the inside I know it can be really hard sometimes so I just want to recommend some products that have helped me deal with all of that. When I feel like a pimple is coming, you know those giant pimples you feel and it like sort of stings? I felt I had one here and I had one on my nose, but it always comes when there's a big event the next day. It just always, like a date or a dance or an event, honestly, every time. But what has been helping me is these zit stickers. I've been talking about them before. I really do love them and this product really does work really well. There are two two pieces to this. One is the cleaner, which you use to disinfect the area. So you take this pad and you clean the affected area. It contains tea tree oil, salicylic acid, vitamin E, and alcohol. So what it does, it just basically disinfects the area. So when you apply the other micro dot patch on it, it will allow the ingredients to penetrate even deeper and stick better onto it. So what the second patch is, is the star of Sitstika. It is a spot clarifying micro dart patch. And what micro dart means is they're amazing. A lot of people have said I recommended this to me even, even before I started using it. But they are patches that contain hyaluronic acid, oligo peptide 76, salicylic acid, and niacinamide. And what these products will do to that pimple is to calm it, make it less inflamed, and basically treat it before it goes to a full-blown pimple. Because when it goes to a full-blown pimple, it gets red, really angry, and it causes a lot more scar tissue because of how much inflammation there is. So this, what you do is you apply it for about two hours. I honestly leave it overnight because I just stick it on there and go to sleep. And the next day, my skin feels more like less bumpy because everything is just a little bit flatter. And it's great for days where you really want to look good, but you feel a pimple there. So I use two and those huge pimples go away really fast so yeah I really like these they're also really really portable so if you have like an emergency breakout while you're traveling or going somewhere you can just pop these in and apply it wherever you need to so I really I've been loving these a lot first things first double cleansing is a must if you're new to this channel or new to skincare in general that's totally fine you need to use an oil cleanser to sort of like dissolve all of that I like to say gunk but it's more like makeup sweat oils sunscreen even if you don't wear makeup sunscreen needs to be dissolved so use a oil-based makeup remover fragrance free preferably i like most products fragrance free but a little bit of essential oils are okay with me i know some people are sensitive to them so most of these products are actually fragrance free or essential oil free but i'll tell you which ones aren't I like to go in with this cleanser, the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. It's really, really nice. It's by Crave Beauty. It's by Leah. Leah is just very, very inspirational and I love her videos. So this is her brand and it's fragrance-free and antioxidant full cleanser. It's like a gel type cleanser. It's really, really comfortable on the skin and slippery. Like, like it just feels slippery. So I like to use this alone or with a Clarisonic, I feel like that really gets into cleaning it out, but it's a very nice cleanser to use. I feel like it doesn't take off like waterproof makeup, which is why you should use an oil cleanser before anyways, if you're doing it right, you know? With acne, I know traditionally a lot of people want to dry it out, like use a 
like an alcohol toner or benzoyl peroxide but I find that calming it while treating it is the best way to go so your skin still feels healthy. I used to like put benzoyl peroxide on my face and it would like scab, like the whole place would turn red and scab. I used to use 10% benzoyl, 5 or 10%, which is a lot. Don't do that. Don't do that, guys. It might dry it up temporarily, but your skin barrier is just gone and all your normal functions of your skin just aren't there anymore, so don't do that. I go in with a hydrating toner full of antioxidants. I really like this. Dear Claire's Fundamental Ampule Mist. I may use it right now. It's really, really nice because it's green tea based. It has glycerin. It does have ceramides and hyaluronic acid and it has Luffa fruit extract, which is, I think, bitter melon, I think, I think, I'm not sure, I'm not super sure, but bitter melon in Chinese medicine, we used to cook it in a pot and then drink it, and drink it when it's like hot, like heaty. I don't know if you guys know like Gid Hei, like when the weather's too warm, you feel it in your skin, you get inflammation. This one has that ingredient, so it calms it down. And green tea is a great antioxidant for the skin, good for pollution, any oxidative, stress, damage, anything. So I really like it for before makeup and after setting the makeup too. It makes my skin look so good. It's fragrance free, color dye free, vegan, cruelty free. I really like this. And it comes in a mist. So in the summertime, like it's been hot. You don't want to apply like anything too thick. So I've been liking this in day and night, just really quick because I'm lazy, you know? I just want to get it done. Nighttime, I use this 2% BHA liquid exfoliant by Paula's Choice. This is like their star product. Like I've heard about this so much and I finally tried it this year. I actually tried it a couple years ago and then I stopped. I don't know why, because maybe there's so many products out there. But I, I went back to it and this is a salicylic acid and it's a form of BHA if you are not familiar, BHA are beta hydroxy acids and they go into the pores and clear it and sort of exfoliate it and then AHA stay a little bit on top of the skin and also help with acne, honestly, I like both but this is a BHA 2% and it's a really, really nice product I use it at night only and anything with acid, honestly, AHA or BHA I don't try to use it around the eyes because it does sting my eyes so this is a really, really good one I feel like it clears your pores and your small acne spots really well and then it also makes your skin less red. So use it at night. And this has like been a godsend, I think. This is amazing. I also like this Azalea Lake Booster from Paula's Choice. And Paula's Choice products are fragrance free and not animal tested, so you can be rest assured. This Azalea Acid will help exfoliate the skin, polish it, make it look really bright and nice and plump. And it also contains salicylic acid, 0.5%, which is a pretty good amount for, you know, maintenance, daily maintenance and stuff like that. I also use this at night only. This one has licorice, so it'll help brighten up acne marks. And that's really important because after the breakout, I know you'll get some like redness and some dark spots. That's totally normal also again, but this will help fade it quicker. After that, you can use a vitamin C serum on it. It doesn't really matter, but this one helps a lot. But vitamin C will help also. And then another one that I really like, I rotate all of these by the way, guys. I don't use it all at once. This one is the TLC Frambuz. Frambuz Glycolic Night Serum by Junk Elephant. And um, this one is kind of pricey. Ahana swears by it and she used to suffer from acne and I admire her so much for, you know, like being so proud of her skin bare with or without acne that I have a lot of respect for that and it's not easy, especially when you have acne. I trust her opinion too. So she really likes this and I, I really do like this too. But I've noticed though around my eyes it does sting a lot. So I try to just focus it around here where the pores and you know are a little bit more visible. But this is a really really nice serum. It's a 12% HA BHA blend. So they don't really say which blend is which but it's a really nice serum as well. I really like that. So on off days where I don't feel like using an exfoliant, like a chemical exfoliant on my skin because it just feels like a lot, I use a Centella or Metacasacite type of serum. This one is the Metacasacite Ampule. It has only two ingredients, which is Centella Asiatica Extract and Metacasacite. And these together, what it does, they are wound healing ingredients, sort of like they help your scars heal. It doesn't matter acne, cuts, laceration, burns. Studies have shown that madocasticide is really good in aiding wound healing. Also, it's fragrance free. The texture is really nice. It feels like a light serum toner. It's very like watery. Wash 
show you. Oh, I'm almost out. But it's like a, almost like snail slime, but lighter. I don't know how to describe it. It feels really nice on the skin, especially when days you want to calm it. This is a really good one to use because there's not much ingredients in there. It's a very pure, pure feeling serum. I like this line. But the Medicacite line really has helped my skin. And you guys always tell me like the sun cream is really good. So if you're looking for an affordable, yet amazing sunscreen this is the one this is most people's favorite sunscreen that they've dm'd me that one and the polish choice one so i just wanted to include this one again because i really do like it i never break out with this it contains metacastasite and centella asiatica so it's gonna help calm your skin while protecting it from uv rays it's gonna hydrate a little bit it's gonna protect from the sun and also it doesn't leave that much of a white cast if you massage it in. I know initially every physical sunscreen leaves a little bit of a white cast initially. It's just the way pigment is. So this one is really nice, it smells great. Tiny bit of essential oil, but it doesn't bother me at all. It's such a nice base. You can use it as a makeup base too. I just really love this product. So if they discontinue this, I will be very, very sad forever. And on days when I'm breaking out, I know you want to wear makeup on days when you're breaking out. I really try not to wear too much, just like maybe like under eye concealer. And then I'll use the Madacastasite powder also, which helps with that and contains centella and calamine extract. So it's like a powder that actually helps your skin. But I have never used this with flash photography, so I don't know if it's gonna be like ooh, flashback. I like this one. These two together in the daytime feels great, you know, like it's just it's just nice. Skincare is just one part of it. Another part of it is definitely learning how to manage your diet, manage your stress, your thoughts, based honestly. Because I feel like when I was focusing on my acne a lot was when I wasn't really busy with other things. So I would notice it more and like look in the mirror more and just feel bad about myself. But I feel like mostly a lot of it was in my own head. People weren't even looking at me like, oh my god, Ivan has acne or something. But in my head, it was like a loud noise saying like, oh my god, you shouldn't go out because you look bad, blah, blah, blah. But let me tell you, like your friends and family, they love you for who you are, not what's on your face. And just don't feel bad about it, okay? And there are ways to help that. One other thing for me is definitely cutting out dairy. I know it's so hard, but it can't be done. It has to be done. I feel like cutting out dairy has been the biggest step of change in my life in terms of breaking out. I break out less, I produce less sebum everywhere because it has a lot of synthetic hormones, just a lot of stuff that is not natural and humans are the only animals that still drink milk after being weaned. So that's weird. And we're drinking cow's milk, guys. I don't want to get political here, but dairy definitely, if you can't cut it out, just cut down. Try to control it. It adds up, like, a lot of people say they don't, I don't even drink that much dairy, but like, one coffee a day, two coffees a day, it's like, whoa, wait, I might not be drinking milk, milk, but like, everything has dairy, cheese, your salad, your bread, your milk, so it does add up, there isn't everything, guys. Also, I feel like breathing exercises help with my anxiety, journaling, stuff like that to manage your stress because it does come out in like, different ways. In Chinese culture, they say like eat less fried and heaty foods because it causes a lot of inflammation in the body. So maybe less of that, less fried food and spicy food if you can. If not, it's, it's fine. We'll try our best. And also definitely don't touch your face too much. I know like when breakouts happen, you just want to like squeeze it and dig it. Not the way guys, don't do that. Use the micro dodge stickers like from the sticker, honestly. Don't touch your face. What this is good for also when you apply it, like it just keeps it clean. So your your hands or dust or anything doesn't like touch it. I noticed I was breaking out because my cat was sitting on my face all the time in the morning. So I just like moved her to the side now. Sorry. She's too clingy. I need space. I need my space for sure. But that's just my Gemini self speaking. So these are my top acne products for summer. I hope they help you in any case, okay? Because I know it can be really stressful to have like acne or really painful even. Everything's figure outable. You can do it and get through this. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.